So question 21 is a vectors question. It's going to be part of the past paper listed down below and also part of a playlist on my channel. So let's start reading question 21, see what they give us and what we have to work out. So for question 21, it says five points are connected by vectors and we have D, H, E, G and F. And they're basically places or destinations we need to get to if you think of it like that. And then some of them have vectors labeled between them and others are blank. So we have to work them out. So for example, D to H, we know the vector vector is a plus 6b and we have an arrow pointing us in that direction so if we want to go d to h it's going to be a plus 6b as a vector then we also have e to d which is 3a plus b and we have e to g which is 2a plus 15b so they also tell us fg is equal to 2e and then from there it says work out fe in terms of a and b now one good thing to do on exam papers where you get given some information is just try and find out whatever you can because often that can lead you to the question for example we can say well what can we work work out with the information we have and sometimes that can lead you on to the answer to the question. Now for me looking at F to E in terms of A and B, so I'm looking at F to E there's nothing there it's blank but I am thinking we do know E to G and if we worked out F to G we could kind of add them together and then we can work out F to E. So the unknown I want to work out right now is F to G and one line up in the question they stated f to g is actually equal to 2eh and we can work out e to h because we know e to d and d to h so if we wanted to travel from e to h we know the equivalent would be going from e to d and then d to h obviously you might be traveling different distances but you end up being in the same place so the vectors are kind of equivalent if that makes sense so for e to h it's going to be 3a plus b and then you're going to add a plus 6b because you're adding e to d and d to h so e to h is going to be 3a plus b plus a plus 6b and that's going to be equal to 4a plus 7b now we know as stated below fg is actually equal to 2eh and we know what eh is now so we can do 2 times eh and that's going to be 2 times 4a plus 7b and that's going to be equal to 8a plus 14b and now we know f to g we can also work out f to e because we're given g to e so f to e is just going to be fg plus g to e or minus e to g because we know what e to g is so g to e will be the opposite so we know it's currently 2a plus 15b so if we just minus that we go the opposite way so we have f to e equal to fg plus g e which is going to be equal to 8a plus 14b because we worked that out before and then we're going to be subtracting 2a plus 15b then when we work that all out it's going to be fe is equal to 8a plus 14b minus 2a minus 15b and then simplifying for Further, we have fe is equal to 6a minus b so hopefully that was clear hopefully that made sense leave any comments or questions down below if it didn't and again remember you're just basically taking points you need to get to and then vectors which help you travel between them and then find a combination of them both to get to a point thanks again for watching the video best of luck with your maths and hope it helped